welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I thought I would do a bit of a different vlog, a sort of health vlog, getting some daily healthy habits in, trying to implement those into my day. Today is actually the day that my mom started her new job, so I thought what better way to start having my own routine and start implementing different healthy habits every day. I do do these healthy habits, but I find sometimes I don't stay consistent with them, but we are trying to be consistent with them. As you would have seen in the first few clips, I had a nice healthy breakfast and I took all my vitamins, supplements, and my medications and I also did my physio exercises, which is something that I try to do every day, but also if I'm not feeling my best, I'll only do parts of it, or sometimes I have a rest day, sometimes that's just how it is. And some days I don't do it in the morning, but I would like to start doing it in the morning, so I kind of get it out of the way, because I find if I wait longer in the day, then sometimes I don't really want to do it and it's more of a motivation thing so I think I can do it in the morning I might as well get it out of the way so I did that and now I am implementing something new so I spoke in my last vlog about starting cognitive behavioral therapy with a psychiatrist so this is the book that we are using as part of my CBT so it's called Mind Over Mood. I can link it down below if you're interested. But this this can also be used like self-guided, but I am going to read the first chapter because today I had my first appointment last week, but it was more of an introduction. So this is my first, I guess, official week. So I am just gonna read the first chapter. And then I have this, it's supposed to be a planner, but I've been using it more of like as a daily log journal. I want to also implement this and just kind of log my thoughts at the beginning of the day. My CBT appointment is at one o'clock, so I still have a couple of hours. It's only 10.30 right now. So after I do those two things, I want to update my planner and just write down some important dates. I have a couple of presentations I'm actually giving in a few weeks, so I need to write that down and plan out when I'm going to work on those presentations. That's what my morning's gonna look like. And also, I've been trying to drink a lot more water because I just think, well, it is really good for you and I think it makes me feel better drinking more water and a little less bloated. I don't know if it's the iron that I'm taking that's making me feel a little bit bloated, but I find if I drink more water that that helps. So I have this Hydro Flask that I haven't used in such a long time, but it's, it's pretty big. I think this one is the 40 ounce one, but I try to drink two of these a day. So I filled this up this morning, so I'm just Sipping on that and I'm going to get to work.
now three o'clock. I had my CBT appointment at one o'clock and that went well. It was another sort of introduction, kind of going back into my childhood or getting to know me sort of thing. And then she gave me some homework to do. So I have to read a couple more chapters from that book. And I am also going to be doing, it's called Automatic Thought Record this week. So it's a table. I don't know if you can see that. So basically, you describe so you go throughout the week and if there's a situation that impacted you in any way so you explain the situation the mood like what did you feel and then you rate that mood on a scale of zero to 100 the automatic thoughts what's going through your mind just before you started to feel that way and then also like the behavior like what did you do as a response to that situation and yeah I'm just going to be doing that all week recording different thoughts and then next week we are going to be going over them and doing the other half of the chart so that was good I am feeling a little bit tired so I did have a bit of a rest but I want to another healthy habit I want to implement is staying more organized and to get that way, I am going to be organizing a part of my room or the house or something like that every few days maybe, so when I'm feeling like it. So I'm going to start with my closet because it's pretty messy in there. I think this is gonna actually take me a few days. I might like split it up into more manageable sections, like maybe one day go through clothes, one day go through all the stuff that's like on the bottom and then one day go through all the stuff up there so I think I might start with the bottom and we'll see where we go from there So a small change in plans, I started to organize my closet. I think I got a little bit of progress, but I am starting to feel very, very tired and very drained. Usually around 2-3 o'clock is when I start to feel really, really exhausted. So I'm going to listen to my body and I'm going to relax for a bit. And another healthy habit which I am trying to implement more is to read instead of just scrolling or watching TV show after TV show or YouTube video after YouTube video. I think that's that's fine and it's necessary to do that sometimes, but when it's like hours and hours of just laying there staring at a screen, I find that I don't feel productive or like I'm doing anything worthwhile, which sometimes, like I said, you need to do that, but I want to get back into the habit of reading because January I read six books and this month I am still in my first book because I was a bit in a reading slump towards the beginning and I was reading a book that I really wasn't interested in reading at that point in time, like I just wasn't in the mood. So I switched books because life's too short to try to force yourself to read a book that you're not in the mood to read. I do think I'm going to read that book later on at some point when I'm in the mood for that kind of thing but as of right now I'm reading A Court of Thorns and Roses and I'm almost halfway through and it's been a bit slow but I'm actually enjoying it more now so I want to see what happens it just got to a good part last night so I'm gonna read for a little bit <laughs> seven o'clock now and another healthy habit is getting out of the house so I went on an errand tonight with my mom 
and we went to Healthy Planet because they were having some sales on some things that I needed to restock on and some other things just other goodies so I thought I would quickly show you what I got so this was the main reason why we went they were having a sale on the Zevia and I like to have one of these a week mostly on Fridays when we have either pizza or something yummy like that I like to have something like this and I think this actually really tastes like pop and this one is creamy root beer ginger root beer I got two of those I got an orange one I've never tried this one before and I've never tried the cola one before so I just stocked up because they were having a sale and yeah and then the other few things that we got this is the body lotion and body wash that I like to use this is a Canadian company it's called Based, and I got the creme brulee this one smells really really good so I got the creme brulee and the body lotion and the body wash and they were also having a 20% off sale with that and I used to only be able to order it online but now they have it at Healthy Planet which is the health food store that I go to and this is almond oil so this we put in our homemade hand soap because my hands get really dry like they're really sensitive if I use like very perfumey soaps so we make our own using a little bit of this and what's the other stuff called Cast it's called castile soap this is what it looks like we got a bargain on those on marketplace yeah my mom actually got two of these huge containers off of Facebook marketplace never been opened for $20 and usually this one is $20 <laughs> so you put some of this some water and some of the almond oil I guess to, for like moisture and it doesn't bother my hands and it's actually in the long run a lot cheaper because that Castile soap lasts forever and then we got two more roars ones for my mom the Georgia peach I also got the Georgia peach this time my mom got some new tea I'm gonna try this one too it's called it's by Heath and Heather I've never seen this brand before I just the packaging actually got us but my mom also likes this tea from David's Tea, it has valerian in it, so when we see chamomile valerian, I don't know what that is, hops, but excited to try that. I got two more boxes of this pancake and waffle mix. This brand is all gluten free, dairy free, and free of other allergens, so I use this to make my protein waffles and I put protein powder in it and then for the oil I use coconut oil instead of vegetable oil last two boxes they were sold out yeah these were the these were the last two boxes and my mom tried to find them at some other stores and they were also sold out so happy that I got those and I got a refill of my folic acid which I am taking for the hematologist instructed that I take this. So these are only one milligram tablets. So her dosage that she's prescribed to me is five milligrams. So this is only about a one month supply. So I'm almost out of the other one. So I got a new one. And then this is a new find and I'm excited to try it. They were also having a sale. This is a new protein bar so this one is chocolate and then this one i was really excited about this one is caramel and it's vegan so it doesn't have dairy in it so this must be a new brand because i've never seen it before so excited to try that and that's everything what about your coupon 
Oh, and I got a coupon. They gave me a $5 off coupon when you spend $50, which it's easy to spend $50 there, so. <laughs> I'm happy because I've never gotten a coupon before. So I just relaxed after I came home from the health food store. I watched a couple episodes of Criminal Minds and now I am getting ready for bed. I am going to read some more of my book and then try to get to bed a little early because I have some appointments tomorrow in Toronto, but I thought I would end this video here. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked it, give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. It really helps me out and I will see you in the next video.